Hey everyone! Today's tutorial is going to be an eyebrow shaping tutorial. And to do this, you're going to need a few tools. You're going to need a pair of tweezers, a small eyebrow brush, a white eyeliner, and a small pair of scissors. Now, eyebrows are sort of like the enigma of the face. A lot of people are are confused as to what to do with them, what shape should they be, what size should they be, and um, I think the best advice I can give to any of you would be that your eyebrow shouldn't be shaped like somebody else's. You want to shape it to your natural shape. So some people naturally grow um, flat eyebrows, some people grow really arched eyebrows, other people um, have bushy eyebrows, some people have thin. So you're going to want to kind of take what you have and then tweak it just a little bit so that you can create the best accent for your eyes. Because a well-shaped eyebrow can do wonders for a face. You should follow three points. The first point is right here. You're going to stick a pencil uh, right to the side of your nose and your eyebrow should begin right where, you, right where your pencil lays on your forehead. So that's going to be the starting point of your eyebrow. The second point is you're going to keep your pencil and you're going to do it directly through your eyeball. And, or right here, around your eyeball. So you're going to stick that pencil so that it's directly up through your eyeball and that should be the highest point of your eyebrow is where that pencil lays. So follow your eyeball directly up, highest point. And then the last point of your eyebrow should be then you're going to take the pencil and you're going to do it right along the edge of your eye and this should be the furthest point here of your eyebrow. So one, two, three. So get your pencil, mark it out, and then we'll go from there. The next step, this is sort of a no-brainer way to pluck your eyebrows and shape them, is you're going to take your white pencil and what you're going to do is color in the actual shape you want of your eyebrow. So you're going to color above it, you're going to color below it, and go ahead and just color in so that your eyebrow, the dark part, remains the shape that you want your eye eyebrow to be when you're finished. Okay, the purpose of doing this white is to give you a template of where you want to pluck and not pluck when you pluck your eyebrows. Because I think often it's easy to go ahead and over pluck. Um, say you're looking close in a mirror or you're using a magnified mirror and sometimes we just get carried away. And doing this beforehand and doing it to both sides helps to ensure that our eyebrows are evenly shaped and that we're not over plucking one side and having to compensate on the other. And once you have that white colored in, if you look closely you'll see I've colored over some um, eyebrow hairs. So you're just going to go ahead and take your tweezers and tweeze those hairs that you've colored over because those are obviously hairs that you don't need to be in your eyebrow line. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've gone ahead and plucked off all the extra little hairs that I don't want to be part of my um, finished eyebrow shape. And the last step you're going to do as far as cutting or tweezing is going to be to trim your eyebrows. Now I know this sounds a little scary, but um, if you're like me, my eyebrows grow to be really long. And so um, every few months I'll just go ahead and trim them. So I take a small little eyebrow brush and brush them straight up. And then once I brush them straight up, I'll just take a small pair of scissors and trim off the um, top portion like so. Like that. So you're not trimming off a lot, but you're just kind of getting rid of any of those errant stray hairs that grow to be really long that seem to develop overnight because uh, nobody likes to look at those. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that now. So I've trimmed my eyebrows, I've plucked my eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and wash off this extra white. I'm just putting some eye makeup remover on the end of my q-tip and I'm just going to wash off the remaining white pencil. I 
I've washed off the white pencil and um, some people have thick enough eyebrows that they don't need to fill in any gaps and um, or even if you don't, don't feel bad. Um, it looks fine naturally just like this. But if you want to, if you're wanting to um, dress up or if you're self-conscious about any gaps you might have in your eyebrows, um, for instance, I have just a really sparse area on the um, outside edge. And so sometimes I'll just take a eyebrow pencil and fill those spots in by just making really small light strokes. I don't make any defined long strokes when I'm filling in my eyebrows. There you have it. This is a foolproof way to go ahead and shape your eyebrows. Um, now it's time for me to finish the other side and good luck to you all.